In the fall of 2007, the National Endowment for the Arts published a large national study on reading trends in the United States. It is entitled, To Read or Not to Read, an allusion to the famous words of Hamlet in Shakespeare's play of the same name. Hamlet said, To be or not to be, that is the question. Hamlet was wondering whether it is better to live or to die. One may be suffering in this life, but one does not know what suffering may lie on the other side, life after death, since no traveler returns to inform the living about it. This cartoon states the idea in a humorous way. Life sucks, but the alternative might suck more. The authors of the reading study are asking the rhetorical question, is it better to read or not to read? Educators would answer a resounding yes to that question, whereas students may not be so sure of the value of reading. The trends in reading study is a symbolic traveler who returns with the evidence to show the consequences of reading or not reading. While the report does not show direct cause-effect, it does show an overwhelmingly positive correlation between daily reading for pleasure and high achievement in school, work, and citizenship. This PowerPoint presents some of the most important findings in the report. There has been an alarming decline in regular reading for pleasure among the general population in all age groups and education levels teenagers, adults, college graduates. One cause of this decline is surely technology. Cell phones, text messaging, iPods, computers, video games, and other electronic media vie for the reader's attention, causing less engagement with text. Less engagement means lower quality comprehension. Reading scores are declining despite great expenditures of money and effort to bring them up. The lack of investment in reading time is also reflected in fewer books in, a, in the home. So what will reading regularly do for you as a student? Children and teenagers who read regularly score better on reading tests. Reading scores are used to make all kinds of important decisions about students at all levels of education. Students with high reading scores don't have to take developmental reading classes and spend extra time and money in on a college education. Also, frequent readers score better on writing tests. Most students don't realize that choosing not to read carries a double whammy of impairing both reading and writing skills. If you read actively, as you will learn to do in this class, your writing skills will simultaneously improve as well without effort. You'll learn more about why later. In this diagram, you can see that reading books puts a lot more information into your brain than just reading blogs. Book readers are actually learning about great writing from great writers. Now, students eventually get out of school and go into the workplace. What will reading regularly do for you as an employee? Employers value good reading and writing skills. Employers reward employees who have good reading and writing skills. Those great jobs in management, professions, business, and leadership are given more frequently to the good readers and writers. Proficient readers are two and a half times as likely as basic readers to earn $850 or more per week the minimum amount needed to support a family, according to most experts. And we all want to be those powerful people in the workplace. Readers participate in and contribute to culture. For example, they are three times more likely as non-readers to visit museums, attend plays or concerts, and to create art artwork. They support the creative endeavors and engage in creative activities of others. In addition, they are more likely to play sports, attend sporting events, or outdoor activities. And we all want to be those creative people who contribute to a rich culture. Artists, writers, filmmakers, musicians, singers, 
journalists, webmasters, and innovators of all sorts. Good readers tend to be good citizens. They are more than twice as likely to volunteer or do charity work. They are more likely to vote in important elections and participate in the democratic process. And we all want to be those responsible, informed citizens who fully enjoy the freedoms and privileges of America. On the other hand, deficient readers have a much less promising future. More than 50% of basic readers are unemployed. More than twice as many basic readers are unemployed full-time or part-time. The majority of prison inmates are basic or below basic readers. Only 3% are proficient readers. None of us want to be the helpless people who have not attained proficient reading and writing skills. In today's job market plagued by high unemployment, a worker needs every competitive edge possible. Reading and writing well can give a worker that creative edge or competitive edge. So what conclusions can we take away from this 2007 study done by the National Endowment of the Arts regarding reading trends in the United States? Frequent reading for pleasure correlates strongly with better test scores in reading and writing. Greater academic, professional, and civic benefits are associated with high levels of leisure reading and high levels of reading comprehension. Reading frequently should be cultivated zealously by individuals and institutions. Palisipi is an inst educational institution that is zealously committed to promoting lifetime readers. We have a common book program that you will be participating in at some point while you are enrolled at the college. We have outstanding developmental programs to support you in developing those vital reading and writing skills. But you, the student, must be in partnership with us to accomplish the goal. Every day you make decisions about how to use your time. Will you choose to be that person who reads frequently with a high level of comprehension? That person who is successful in school and at work? That person who makes contributions to the richness of American life and culture? The decision is yours. Unlike Hamlet, who did not get information from the dead about what comes after life, you know now how much better the quality of your life can be if you choose to read. You could even start by reading Hamlet's entire soliloquy online. Just Google to be or not to be. Your decision to read is not only important to you, but also to our American culture. Each of you has gifts and talents to be developed. People and their creativity are our nation's greatest resource for prosperity. Literacy is vital to developing those potentials. Let's close with some more profound words from another great word master, Ray Bradbury. You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture. Just get people to stop reading them. <laughs>